The Starfleet Research Station over Jupiter was hit by a dishonorable attack from the Terran Empire. It could be the prelude to a full-scale invasion. If they were bold enough to strike at the very heart of the Federation, they may have similar plans for the Empire as well. Starfleet has assigned Admiral Janeway to lead the relief operations at Jupiter. I'd like you to join her. Provide any assistance she might require. And should the Terrans return, show them what it means to be an enemy of the Klingon Empire. Good to see you again. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. The Terrans hit us pretty hard today. Several of our ships are in trouble. See what you can do to help out. We'll talk more once we have everyone out of harm's way. Whatever medical teams you could spare would be most welcome. Away teams received. This is the Juno. We've lost main power. Any engineering support would be helpful. Thanks. We'll get your people back to you as soon as we have things under control. This is Chief Engineer Jarrett of the Akron. We're out of time. Our warp core is going critical, and we can't eject it. We need to evacuate now. Evacuate as many people as possible from the Akron before their warp core breaches. There's two more groups to beam out. I'll buy you as much time as I can. The last of us are ready for transport. Hurry, the core's about to breach. That's everyone. Get to a safe distance. The Akron treated us well. I'm going to miss her and her captain. Losing the Akron wasn't easy to watch, but you saved the survivors on board. That's what matters the most. Well done. This situation is getting complicated, and officers like you can help me get to the bottom of things. Let's meet on Voyager to go over this in person. Granted, I'll meet you in the transporter room. Welcome aboard. There's a lot to discuss and very little time to do so. Walk with me. I'll get you up to speed on the way to the conference room. Here's what we know so far. The Terran fleet warped into the Sol system unchallenged. Somehow, they managed to bypass all of our security measures. You saw what they did to the ships near the station. Once they dealt with those ships, they raided the station itself. Their objective was unusual, even for Terrans. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Right. Let's get down to business. As you know, the Terrans raided a secret research station in the Izar system earlier. They stole a large amount of classified data during that raid, which you managed to recover. Starfleet Intelligence believes they found what they were looking for in that data, and it led them here, to Jupiter Station. I'm bringing in a... consultant to assist with this briefing. Someone with first-hand experience of the incident at Jupiter Station. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Told ya. If you're finished gawking, believe me, I don't want to be here any more than you do. Let's get this over with. Fourteen hours ago, I led a Terran strike force operation to Jupiter Station. All right, let's get started.
The operation is about to commence. We've entered Federation space undetected, thanks to security codes obtained by Imperial agents. By the time we drop out of warp in the Sol system, it'll be too late for the defenders of Jupiter Station. This plan is reckless. Even for you, Marshal. We're not dealing with a legion of witless cyborgs here. And I'd rather not end up in a Starfleet prison for the rest of my days. Or, you know, dead. Your position is noted, Captain. Perhaps you'd like to voice your concerns to the Emperor? It is his plan, after all. No? Anyone? I didn't think so. Fortune, as they say, favors the bold. If we succeed today, the favor of the Emperor will be ours. So, please summarize our mission objectives, Marshal. Very well, Inquisitor. Listen closely. Once we arrive at Jupiter Station, we'll offer them the chance to surrender. They may show their bellies without firing a shot. If not, we'll deal with them and board the station. We will find the Emperor's prize, secure it, and return to our universe, and the great reward that awaits us there. It's about time. I could use a good fight. This isn't the 23rd century. Battles aren't won with karate chops and smirks. Bloodthirst built the Empire. You'd be wise to remember that. It has served you well so far, Cap. If it gets in the way on our mission, I won't hesitate to put you down. Yeah, yeah. Stop flirting with me. You'll make Kamarke blush. <clears throat> Do recall that Marshal Janeway does not suffer fools. And we are on her vessel. You're not going anywhere but the grave! I think not, traitor. I've been in your sh Enough of this! Time for you to die! Aw, look at the mess you made. The Marshal's gonna get cranky. Bravo! Well fought! Three cheers for- Stop! Kamarke, we're not doing that! An assassination attempt! Before breakfast? Rude. Nice to see I'm not the only one who's tried to end you, Inquisitor. Unlike that idiot, I live to tell the tale. And hey, you got that sweet voice box out of the deal. Yes, you tried. And you failed. Fortunately for you, I am a loyal servant of the Emperor. Because he wishes it, you're still breathing. Should that change? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? Believe me, if we get to that bridge, I'll be the one blowing it up underneath you. But for now, the Emperor says we have to play nice, so this is me, playing nice. See you at Jupiter Station. Unless your yeoman puts a shiv in your back on the way. The Defiant is ready to receive you, Inquisitor. Step onto the transporter pad when you're ready. Jupiter Station. I am Marshal Catherine Janeway of the Terran Empire. Surrender, and your lives will be spared. Resistance, as the saying goes, is futile. Make the smart choice. Request denied, Marshal. I'd advise you to surrender while you're still able to do so. A predictable response, Marshal. I suggest we teach them the error of their ways. My crew and I stand ready to lead the charge. I think you got a little something brown on your nose there, Inquisitor. Enough. Inquisitor, the honor is yours. Teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Those who manage to survive, anyway. Inquisitor, I have 17 cases of Romulan ale that say we're earning the most glory today. Make it 20, and you're on. Done. 
good luck scoring even a single kill in that little bucket of failure. We'll see about that. defense satellites have been eliminated. You killed a lot of good people out there. And for what? What the hell do you want? You'll find out soon enough, Commander. Surrender and prepare to be boarded. Marshal Janeway, I request a ceasefire to conduct rescue operations. He's stalling, buying time for reinforcements to arrive. The Empire doesn't negotiate with prey. Let's knock down their shields and take what we came here for. This insolence of yours is getting tiresome, Captain. Remember your place, or I will gut you like a fish and kick your carcass out of the nearest airlock. What is it, Inquisitor? We're reading several Starfleet vessels approaching at high warp, Marshal. They'll be here in moments. Battle stations, fire to disable. If Starfleet is so concerned about rescue operations, let's give them something to rescue. It'll keep any more would-be reinforcements occupied. Tactical, fire to disable. Let's teach these Starfleet weaklings a lesson. Emperor's prize is damaged or lost. I'll kill each of you myself. Slowly. An agonizer booth at maximum setting will feel like mercy by the time I'm done with you. Do I make myself clear? There's a price for defying the Terran Empire, and I am here to collect. Tactical. Concentrate fire on their habitat deck. Emperor's prize. 
All right, they're at our mercy. It's time to do what we came to do. Let's beam down to the station and take the Emperor's prize. Prepare yourselves. We've got their backs to the wall, and something tells me they won't go down without a fight. As, As we, we plan, plan, then, two teams. Team 1's objective is to disrupt their security systems through sabotage. Team 2 will then gain access to critical systems and take control of them. Once that's done, we can use their transporters to beam directly to where the Emperor's prize is located and take it. Try not to get roughed up by a bunch of scientists and lab assistants. Let's get moving, Inquisitor. As you wish, Marshal. We we've got intruders in the storage area! Repeat, intruders in the storage area! That didn't take long. Phasers on stun, eh? Too bad ours are set to kill. Looks like this group has more fight in them. So they're angry, geeks and nerds. Got it. Huh. One of them almost hit me. I'm impressed. Here's where we part company. Get the job done, Team 2. We won't fail you, Marshal. We won't fail you. Ugh. Let's go, Camarque. You know, when you're done kissing the Marshal's backside. Enough. Someone get these doors open. I'm on it. Got it. Ready when you are, Marshal. They're beaming in. You're trapped. Surrender now and no harm will come to you. <laughs> Security fields. Took them long enough. We need to keep moving. I'll reconfigure the isolinear chips here and shut down power to the fields. Kumarke and I are in position. Waiting on you, Marshal. Talk. We're almost there. Stand by. Commander, do not let them seize control of that station under any circumstances. Get those bombs planted, Inquisitor. On it. Cover me while I work. Clock's ticking. Still haven't heard any explosions. Having troubles? Not as many as you'll have if you don't stop distracting us. Charge is set. Get to a safe position. Move!
intercepted their security protocol transfer. Kumarke is taking control as we speak. Good. Once you take their internal sensors offline, we can move undetected. For now, drop the security fields. Sure, if you ask me nicely. Captain, you are on dangerously thin ice here. Get that security field down now. Inquisitor, there's a Jeffreys tube nearby. We'll use it to go between decks. All right, all right, it's down. Go! Watch out! Flanking damage detected. Personal shield losing power. There's the Jeffreys tube. Let's get climbing. Why'd they cancel Red Alert when there's still Terrans on board? That's a mystery you'll never solve, I'm afraid. This is the transporter room. Take the lead. Breach and clear. What? They're here! Open fire! Right. Beam us directly to the medical ward. Energizing. What's the holdup? Hmm. We need to get out of here before Starfleet here. overruns our position. Starfleet's adapted their security protocols. We are locked out of the transporter controls. Time to go to Plan B. Meet us at the hub on Deck 7. Janeway out. Get to the hub as fast as you can. I love running. Stop. Tilly and her pet are a problem. Can I count on you if things go sideways? Of course, Marshal. Contacts incoming! Damn, we're in a tight spot. Let's fight our way to the others and regroup. Marshal? Inquisitor? How nice of you to join us. What took you so long? Did you stop to replicate some coffee on the way? Fighting now. Coffee later. We're clear for now, Marshal. Time to change things up a bit. Inquisitor, you and Tilly will get us access to the turbo lifts. Kumarke and I will focus on disabling the security lockouts. Once that's done, we should be able to get to the medical ward using turbo lifts. We'll rendezvous there. Interesting that the Marshal pulled that little team switch. What do you think she's up to? Maybe she's hoping we'll kill each other, so she won't have to. This is Janeway. What's your status? About to take turbo lift control. Stand by. Ready phasers. They're here. Let's get this party started, nerds! Watch your fire! We need functional controls once we've cleared the room. Less talky, more shooty! Victory! At last! Inquisitor to Marshal Janeway. We have secured turbo lift control. Your orders? Hold your position, Inquisitor. 
Captain Kumarke tells me she needs about 15 seconds to finish cracking their security overrides. So, did Grandma Janeway ask you to kill me? I mean, I I'd be insulted if she didn't. Janeway here. We've done our part. Ball's in your court now, Inquisitor. Yeah, we'll get right on that, Marshal. There's a countermeasure blocking me here. You need to reroute through that console. Reroute complete. Starting on the second lockout. Cover me! I need you on that console, Inquisitor. Flanking damage detected. Personal shield losing power. Try it now. Almost there. Just a few more Flanking seconds. Damage. Control is restored. Nice work. We have turbo lift access here. Proceed with the plan. Kumarke and I will meet you at the objective. I think Janeway will convince Kumarke to betray me. That seems unlikely. Your pet is very loyal. What are you even here for? You aren't working for the Marshal. I work for the Emperor. Uh-huh. It still doesn't tell me why you're here. To make sure the job gets done. So, what's so important about the Emperor's prize, anyway? Ask the Emperor. I'm sure he'd love explaining himself to you. Wow. <laughs> Stick with your day job, Inquisitor. Comedy is not your strong. The joke will be on us if we don't stay focused. Mind if we cut in? Beginning decontamination sweep.
This ends now, Terrans. It's over. You're right, Commander. It is over. For you. There is no way I'm letting you take... Ah! One for emergency transport! Ooh, you're kind of getting on your last nerve. Threat neutralized. The prize is ours for the taking, Marshal. Indeed. Inquisitor, if you would do the honors and open the door. I expected someone more impressive. Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's do that. To be honest, I didn't think you'd make it this far, but I'm happy to finish you off now. You've had the Emperor's favor long enough. It's our time for glory now. Really? Well then. If you want to kill the Queen, you need to deal with her pawns. You're not as loyal as you led me to believe, Inquisitor. Afraid not, Marshal. Nothing personal. Tilly made the better deal. And it was for a lot more than Romulan Ale. Perhaps we should gloat after the battle is won. What the? She's got some sort of invulnerability shield. She's adapted. Her, her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. She's adapted. Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire! She's adapted. Eliminate Borg drones to make her vulnerable. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire! Mark my words, traitors. You will burn for this. I'll give the old girl credit. Making a Borg army out of the Starfleet goons we dropped along the way was a solid move. If she is, they'll be Starfleet's problem, not ours. If the Marshal survives, she'll be stuck here. Shouldn't be too bad. I hear Federation prisons are soft and comfy. Yeah, that's her problem, not ours. Get the transporter beacon on the Emperor's prize so we can beam her out of here. The Emperor's prize is ours. Let's beam up and get back to our universe. The rest, as they say, is history. Let's discuss how we resolve this fine little mess. Preferably over some coffee. I think that could be arranged. So now we know who the Terrans were after. What we still don't know is why. Perhaps you can shed some light on that, Marshal. That information is above even my pay grade, Admiral. Only the Emperor knows, and he isn't one to share such secrets willingly. I suspect you know more about the Emperor's prize than I do. What's so special about that woman? We know she's one of ours. Lieutenant Ilea, a Delta navigator assigned to the Enterprise in the late 23rd century. Until recently, she was listed as missing in action 
after an incident involving a powerful entity in deep space. Recently, she teleported into a Starfleet research station in the Epsilon sector, and promptly collapsed. She's been comatose ever since. She was transferred to Jupiter Station for medical care due to her unique physiology. Uh, am I being a bit more specific? Baldness isn't exactly a unique biological trait, especially for Deltans. According to the researchers on Jupiter Station, Ilea is a hybrid, a fusion of biological and artificial life. Very advanced artificial life. The research team could barely comprehend the nature of her artificial components. One of them told me it made a Zoom type android look crude by comparison. Well, I don't know how a bald cyborg factors into making the Emperor's ultimate weapon, but he does tend to have plans within plans. Maybe he wants this Ilea to serve as a prototype for some new type of super soldier. I don't care what he wants. It's our job to stop him and bring Ilea back. So, we need a plan, and we need it fast. By now, Tilly and her cohorts will have returned the Emperor's prize to Terran space dock in our universe. You'll want to move fast and be ready for the fight of your life if you want to bring her back. Let me be clear. This is an enemy of my enemy situation. I mean to get revenge on Tilly and her lackeys, and working with you will help me accomplish that goal. I see no reason to complicate matters, do you? Then it sounds like we have an understanding. Now let's get to it. <laughs> well, well. It looks like my recent work with Starfleet on training scenarios has paid off. Never thought you'd have the guts to try anything like that, but <laughs> what can I say? You're just full of surprises. <laughs> Are you kidding? This is my kind of crazy. I wouldn't miss it for the world. And if my help isn't enough, you have two Janeways working on this. <laughs> I can't wait to see what those crazy old birds come up with. <laughs> Especially after a few pots of coffee. We took some serious hits here today, but they've had their inning. Now it's our turn at bat. Starfleet will put their best and brightest to work on the rescue operation. I've been assured that our allies in the Alliance will do the same. Working together, we survive the Iconian War. We can deal with this Terran incursion as well. One thing's for certain. Starfleet needs to improve the defenses here at Jupiter Station. I have a few ideas on that. But for now, Ilea is our top priority. Captain's Log, Supplemental. We have the Emperor's Prize at last. With Janeway out of the picture, the glory is ours alone. We will learn the secrets of the Emperor's Prize. By any means necessary. Kumarke to bridge. We're ready to begin. The Terrans went to great lengths to abduct a single person, and at great risk. A bold plan, indeed. It reminds me of a ploy I used long ago, during the war with the Federation. Then, I allowed captives to be rescued in order to further my true agenda. Whatever the Emperor's true agenda is, I suspect it is one of a grand, terrible scale.